best advice I've ever gotten as a creative has been to be more intentional. I think this is a big one for every photographer and filmmaker. To be more intentional with what you shoot and why. Adapting this philosophy has honestly made the biggest impact on my work in the last months. As I've been doing a lot of photography lately, I've been thinking about the difference between how I shoot stills and how I shoot videos. I noticed whenever I was doing photography, I was paying a lot more attention to how the subject is placed, what's distracting and what story I want to tell in the frame. Because there's only this one opportunity to make the image interesting. And this really inspired me to change my perspective on filmmaking. So rather than filming cool looking stuff, I asked myself, would this work as a photograph if I paused the video? So in the past weeks I've been shooting by the principle to master stillness before trying to understand movement. What do I mean by stillness? I basically mean static shots. And a tool that has helped me a lot to improve in this aspect was a tripod. As you may know, I started my creative journey with street photography. And I really wanted to adapt this philosophy and this scenario as well. But instead of going handheld shooting photos with a 35 or 50, I decided to film with my 85mm. Which effectively forced me to use a tripod because otherwise the footage was just too shaky. I have to admit that it can feel a little clunky to carry a tripod around as it can get pretty hectic at times like in every major city and street photography is so spontaneous and about capturing these quick moments it seems a little counterintuitive to bring a tripod around. But I noticed that I was paying way more attention to what was happening around me. It forces you to take your time to figure out a good composition and not just shoot everything at once, hoping to get a good angle or an interesting perspective. Setting up your tripod and investing the time to wait for a good opportunity is a commitment to this one shot. At the end of the day I had like 8 videos instead of 50 random clips, but I loved all of them. It felt a little bit like film photography where you have to commit to a single photo and don't end up with hundreds of shots. And I noticed a big improvement in my filmmaking abilities when I took some time to get a clear mindset on what my expectations are and what image I want to get. And having this thought process for every single composition not only improves your vision and creative thinking, but you end up with way better footage and more space left on your hard drive. It's not about using a tripod per se, you could go handheld with a wide angle or place your camera down somewhere, but it's more about slowing down, visualizing a concept and seeing a good frame before actually starting to shoot. In a street photography setting, I always try to look out for opportunities to create depth. So it's actually quite funny when people stop because they don't want to ruin my shot, when in fact I want them to be in the picture or video. I really want to capture the dynamic and true feel of a city and its people and for these kind of shots I often go with a low f-stop number like f2.8 or lower to get the separation between foreground and background. And that's why A and D filter is essential to me. This brings us to today's sponsor called KNF Concept. Their new black diffusion filters are multi-coated as well as waterproof and scratch resistant. I've been using mine for a few weeks now and I'm actually quite surprised about the quality. They come in a nice box and knowing other brands delivering it in plastic cases, this was definitely a nice touch. Normally you have to be careful turning your varial and e filter to dark. But with this one I had no problems whatsoever. So I leave a link down below if you want to get one and now let's get back to the video. When I got into filmmaking and creating content I wanted to have a gimbal to do these cool and dynamic tracking shots that everybody was talking about. 
and it seems like every year a new and improved version is released. But after all, I realized I already have enough stuff to worry about, like exposure, camera settings, lenses, S-Log, filters. There's a lot that goes into creating a good looking video. And filming with a gimbal can be another distraction on top of everything else. Don't get me wrong, gimbals or glide cams are an awesome tool and sometimes the only way to film a certain shot. But I had a lot of false expectations and I think as a beginner there is nothing more deadly than trying to compensate a lack of knowledge with gear. And one of the misconceptions was that tripod shots are boring. For a long time I thought an interesting frame needs to have movement, something needs to happen to make it more engaging, more interesting, but nowadays I believe that static shots can be way more powerful than you think. It's way more rewarding if you can manage to create a dynamic scene in a static shot through the subjects you're shooting and story you're building rather than trying to add movement or fancy transitions externally to save an otherwise boring shot. At the moment I'm really inspired by the work of Yasuhiro Ozu, who was quite known for his approach to create depth and dynamic in a static frame. And what I got out of his work was to master stillness before trying to understand movement, to slow down and to be intentional with what you shoot and why. <laughs> 